Good morning, everyone. Mary's yes is quite astounding. Here, standing before this young girl, appears an angel. Mary at the time probably would have been 16-ish, according to scholars. This is a so out of the norm for anyone, let alone a teenager, that Mary is undoubtedly afraid. Probably rightly so. I don't know about you, but even at the ripe old age of 35, I'd probably still be terrified if an angel appeared in front of me. And yet, despite her fair fear, Mary accepts what the angel is telling her. And she says yes. And this yes is a momentous occasion. This yes undoes the resounding no from Adam and Eve thousands of years before. This yes undoes the damage from our first parents and brings about salvation to all of humanity. This yes is why the church for the last 2,000 years has so highly revered Mary. Of all the millions and billions of women who have walked this earth, it was Mary who was chosen by God to bear his only son. It was Mary, his mother, who got the distinct privilege of caring for our divine and lovable Savior, holding him in her arms, picking him up and soothing him as an infant. It was Mary who got to watch him grow and mature through his silent years. It was Mary who got to rejoice in his accomplishments, as is right and just for a mother to do. But it was also Mary who had to watch him scourged at the pillar. It was Mary who had to watch her life, her love, her son hang upon a cross, all because of this yes. Thankfully, though, her yes didn't stop on that cross. She was given the privilege of also seeing her yes come to fruition at the resurrection. My brothers and sisters, Mary's yes was monumental. Oftentimes, as humans, because of our first parents, we have a tendency to say no. Today, though, we can redouble our efforts and join our yes with Mary's. We can rebel against the no set down by Adam and Eve and see where God takes our yes. And just like Mary, we'll have good times, we'll have enjoyable times, but we're also going to have struggles, trials, tribulations, suffering because of our yes to God. But in the end, our, un our yes to God undoubtedly leads to Christ, his cross, and his resurrection.